Well, welcome, and uh, this is Susan Jamieson from Bridget Berry Designs, and I'm Evan Silverstein, the owner and publisher of Health Trends Magazine. Uh, Susan and I got together from one of our previous photo shoots, and we came up with the idea of what does design mean to use professional? And from here, we're going to talk a little bit about that. So, Susan? Well, I think it was really important as a designer to know that you can go, you know, how do you do design? It, you can go into a store and you can see all these great accessories and furniture, but how do you really pull it together? And we wanted to showcase Richmond as a source for design and a source for creating those rooms. And our first stop would be Carytown. And what great elements and stores they have in Carytown. You've got everything yeah. from modern traditional accessories, whimsical, <laughs> and I just wanted to showcase how you could pull all those things together and create a room. And the nice thing is, this whole room has been transformed within four hours of this morning. And we, one thing we're going to share with you, the consumer, is how you can do some of these ideas on your own. So when you shop in the Carytown area or other districts where you live in your own community, have the confidence, know what things to pull, Think about different sizes, elements, different colors, what goes together. Do you want to do things symmetrical or asymmetrical for different feel and flow? So please keep this stuff in mind and let's kind of go through the room together. Yeah, well, well that's a good point because you always want to come up with that one focal point item. And I think, as I said before, it's the fabric. So right. if you're going for something, you, you want a key element. And then you mm -hmm. kind of have to edit from there. You start with the bold fabric, you pick the colors that you want to kind of blend with that and you want eye-popping pieces of, of you know bright coral for the chest you want some bright colors for the pillows but you don't want anything to get too overwhelming or busy busy you want to keep it kind of smooth and, and eye settling so as we went through the room and we added accessories we we had to do a lot of editing and pulling things back because you don't want to you know you always get home and you've got all this stuff and you're like oh what am I gonna you know I, I don't know how to pull it all together Remember, it's one element, just like this arrangement here, on a table that can really make the whole wall. Right, and what I love about it is the, is the height, is the pussy willows, here is the bowls, very simplistic, and keep a little minimalist to it, and then you have the picture, which is this very soothing environment too, and helps pull everything together very nicely. Get a picture of this because nobody would believe it. <laughs> because we thought it had so many colors and it was this great mix of traditional lines with this more modern fabric and it was really the inspiration for the color. And you and Melanie both had this in your shop. Right, in our shop. We <laughs> love it. We both have it. it. <laughs> and it's called it's, Schumacher. Uh, it's Schumacher Chain May Dragon. Dragon. You want it a little more. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Now I'm going to accessorize our chest on our greatly painted wall. And I found these rope, they're called twig rope, from Janet Brown's shop here in Carytown up the street. And she uses them, she's got them hanging in her window, but I thought they'd be great sort of as table display. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 10 did. And, and let me clarify that. <laughs> Dynamite. Dynamite. Knockout. That's why we're so good at it. <laughs> the ceiling. I know. You had to right. plug in the ceiling. Where's that light coming from in the mirror? What light? The spotlight on this side. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, uh. gotcha. 
I love that. It looks really cool. Nice love the zebra, the love fun, fun, fun. Yeah. And you're pretty sign. You can put the sign out front somewhere. That's an old car. Or yep. one out front. So people walk by and say, oh, cool. In the inside. Yeah. Yep. Those pillars really make that painting and so cool top. I love it. And I like our colors. Woohoo! It looks good. Okay, now we're going to accessorize our color block. So we've got these great paintings from Cat's store. Right. We've got, yeah. Yeah, it's like they, they were made for these colors. They were. I said local artist named Will Turner who okay. paints um, different geometric and graphic art. We, so the basis from and the, Janet, yeah, Janet Brown. Janet Brown. But yeah. they've got our colors. It's kind of a little bit stronger than our colors. We're going a little, get more pop out of it so that things right. don't get too blended in and look too washed out. Right. And I think it would be a nice pop against the teal wall to have a brighter brighter element. Okay. We'll you try to talk skinny first. We might I like the, the turquoise. Green, though. But you, you think? The green in here? I just think we oh, the turquoise so is pretty because it holds it. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Who's that? How are you? Oh, yeah, Julie. I called Julie. I know. I was, she was in my store the other day. I was like, we're going to put the chair in the house. Feathers or feather balls? Hi, Julie. Hey. How are you? Hey. Hi. 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 H